welcome back to my channel y'all i did it i actually finished the pattern that i showed y'all the other day this is kind of like a part two ish i tried to get all the steps and what i'm gonna do is just try to explain everything as i um go through this video like right here was me cutting out the pattern and then assembling the lining first because i did this before i already know that i can complete the lining portion of it so i started with doing the lining and i didn't do any of the notches or any of the little like gathering points because i didn't use any pins on this again this was just one of those practice pieces for me so when i got to the portions that needed to be gathered i like gathered those pieces under my machine and um like for me it's always about trying to figure out ways that i can navigate around these patterns and not make it so complicated to the point where you just want to give up because these things can be very boring especially if you're sewing by yourself um it could be very boring and very tedious so why not try to make it to where you actually enjoy creating what you're making and so um as you see i did actually put the notches here because that part was important to me so i cut my little notches and then i laid the pattern pieces on top of each other and just used a, a real nice stitch a straight stitch around those curves and then i finished the bottom part um with a regular straight stitch so that that's the outer sh so that is the inside and right here i'm just sewing it make sure that you back stitch just to make sure that those stitches are secure and then tie them off right at the top and burn all of those little edges i cut them too sometimes i burn them though like with this type of fabric um this is more like a muslin type of fabric so it does have like the um the rough edges and it will fray so just make sure that y'all either um use your serger and sew those edges down or you can do a zigzag stitch right across on those edges and just cut and burn whatever is necessary and i think you typically have to do that anyway because a lot of this pattern was giving like sew and then snip snow uh snow <laughs> sew and then cut here snip here and then sew there so you literally gonna be back and forth on your sewing machine um under your iron just making sure that everything is pressed and um nice and flat so that way when you put the pieces together there's no bulkiness going on so that is the lining part i didn't do the sleeves because the sleeves actually are going to attach to the um the main sleeve so this is basically me doing the exact same steps all over again for for the outer shell and it's literally the same steps there may be a couple pieces that you didn't need for the outer shell that you would have used for the inner shell and of, of course like interfacing and stuff like that i didn't have any interfacing because i was trying to make this like a diy project for a budget but some things you really will need and interfacing is actually one of those things because like my lapel on this coat didn't stick up exactly how i wanted it to and i know that that could have been for uh because of the interfacing and then my collar that was something else that i needed to have interfacing in so just make sure that when you're doing projects like this that you get the exact project materials and the things that you will need for that project instead of trying to cut corners like me now it did turn out nice and neat as you see like it's so clean and i'm so proud how this thing turned out i wish i had a tag with my name on it that's coming up i have to get some tags with my brand name and just something that represent me really well this is how the jacket turned out i had a little bit of material left from that same curtain and i went ahead and made like a little top and a little skirt moment to get y'all the full little fantasy but i didn't put as much love as i did with this jacket and um that's really the the main staple here but um i hope y'all learned a little something something i hope y'all 
subscribe for sure. And thank you for watching the video. All right, bye.